Hello, hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Let's see if I can do this before I run out of battery. Uh, but today we're going to be looking into love. We are going to take a look at a connection you're dealing with. And keep in mind the roles can be reversed, okay? And take whatever message resonates, leave what doesn't. The weather right now was really catching my attention. And it's like, it's super sunny, <laughs> you know? It's really, really um bright but at the same time it, the sky is full of clouds it's about to i'm even hearing thunder it's about to rain so this is feeling like summer and winter not fall not autumn nothing like that um not spring it's feeling like summer and winter exactly at the same time at the same place so it's feeling a little bit crazy um and maybe that is what's happening here with your love life it's like you have both summer bright joy hope and everything and at the same time, you have this really, what the heck is happening here? I'm so lost. Um, I'm dry as hell. Nothing is happening. Um, so let's see where we go with this. But yeah. So bottom of the deck, beautiful. We have longevity with Wisteria. Plan for and take the dedicated path. And then we also have slow down. So maybe this is uh, something that is, you know, going slowly, but surely. Um, and it's going in a very nice direction. Also, Aries had strong Leo energy. So if you're dealing with an Aries, maybe check it out. Um, especially if this written doesn't resonate, maybe there's a message for you there. But we have Fox Glove, confidence, be what you want to see. We have Tiger Lily, security, choose a safe harbor for now. And we have Moth Orchid, communication, listen and speak with, great, with greater care. Interesting. I feel like <laughs> this is so cute because I feel like you're... You may be kind of afraid of this person not wanting anything to do with you, of this person not having feelings for you. And you could be, oh, you could be de definitely be dealing with an Aries because I'm kind of getting that it could be like the other, the other side of the coin here, your perspective on things. But you could be kind of not necessarily given up because there could be communication. You could just be getting to know each other, but I feel like you're in a very safe space. I feel like you're just trying to connect with yourself, not get your hopes too high and everything. Um, and... It is just like you may even think that this person doesn't want anything to do romantically with you. However, little do you know that this person, I feel like it's about to express their feelings to you. Um, so that's really good. And with confidence here, unlike the connecting energies, I love this because it feels natural. It doesn't feel forced. You know, sometimes um, when we're dating other people and we're trying to get to know other people, it feels forced to get to know them, you know? And in this case, it feels very natural. It feels like it's something that you just do. You don't really think about that. It just happens. And I feel like that just creates a very solid foundation for the two of you. And it's very, very beautiful. Very, very nice. Um, so let's see where we go. This communication card is reminding me of Mercury. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Doesn't have to be though. But let's see. So we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Hanged Man, the Lovers, the Nine of Cups, ah, how beautiful. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have Judgment, the Magician, oh, and we have the Six of Pentacles. I love this because um, this Nine of Cups and the Magician is how you're viewing each other and you're viewing each other in the exact same freaking way. Nine of Cups, Magician, it's both about um, like you're exactly what you have been looking for from both sides this person is exactly what you've been looking for it's a wish fulfilled and you are everything that this person has been looking for it's a wish fulfilled um and i really feel like um there's a bigger level of unexpected when it comes to this person it's i it's not that you were seeing this coming this person coming but i feel like you have accepted the feelings i just think that you were unsure that anything is going to happen especially with the hanged man on how you're showing up in this connection maybe there are a few fears here from your side um but it's like i don't think that you're afraid of owning those feelings maybe you know and have accepted those feelings for a little bit longer than this person with the lovers here especially it's like you just know you're just like yeah well i have feelings for this person that's great it is what it is and this person with judgment on their feelings is like oh shit i have feelings for leo <laughs> and it's like they're just freaking out and it's just like mind-blowing what the heck i did not see this coming you know um i do feel like with this two of pentacles and how they're showing up it has this level of okay but what do i do now like how do i 
how do I react? How do I use this information? You know, uh, and I feel like they're really just awakening to those feelings now and they really don't know what to do here. They really don't know how to move things forward. I do feel like there is a lot of fear between the two of you that two don't don't want the same thing. You do. Um, but at the same time, there is this level of confidence of like the foundation, perhaps the a friendship foundation, you know, um, this kind of feels like a best friend turns to lovers kind of trope. And um, that, that friendship foundation, I do feel like it is there. And the confidence between the two of you, the security, the um, lightheartedness towards one another, you know? I feel like that is definitely there. But then you start thinking, oh, but maybe this person doesn't feel the same way. Oh, maybe this is not going to happen. What do I do here? And I feel like that is what creates the fears and that is what creates the confusion. But I really feel like what is happening next with the Six of Pentacles, I absolutely love it because I feel like there is um, some level of balancing things out here. And I feel like you're kind of, I'm seeing this has like building blocks, you know, um, it's like you're really building this relationship one step at a time. And I don't know, maybe before this was just about friendship and now you both have feelings. So maybe there is like communication to ask you out on a date. That is the next block. And then there's communication around, hey, I actually kind of like you. Let's get into a relationship. Then, little do you know, you're moving in together. You're getting married. You're having babies. You're dying together. You know, <laughs> that was kind of morbid. But um, I really feel like you're building the foundation without the pressure to build the foundation. And that is freaking beautiful. This is a relationship I approve. Um, <laughs> not that that matters, but uh, yeah. Uh, I also love seeing this nine of pentacles and king of cups energy because again i do feel like the love has always been there but it was kind of disguised by fears but also by independence because i feel like you were also using this time to connect on your careers individually connect on your own self-confidence connect on your like building yourself up you know and um i feel like that also allows this connection to move a little bit further and that is beautiful uh, so we have strong Gemini energy here. I don't think I mentioned it, but we also have Virgo. We have Pisces. I'm also getting a little bit of Scorpio. Um, but yeah, so far that's what we have. Oh, and with this King of Cups, well, I did show it to you. So with the King of Cups, we also have Cancer. Uh, so it could even be like a Gemini Cancer. It doesn't have to be though. Let's see here. Let's clarify some things. So I do want to take a look at your hanged men. Because, like, when it comes to your feelings, it's, like, clear. You love this person, or at least you're very interested in this person. Um, but I do feel like, you know, if this is a friendship, there is already a love there. I feel like the difference is that you have already realized that this is a romantic love. And this person always thought that it was just a friend love. You know, it's like, yeah, well, of course I love Leo. They're amazing. And now it's like, oh, shit, I love Leo in a romantic way. What do I do with this? I don't know. Oh, my God. How how is how does this happen? <laughs> you know, um, and I really feel like um, on your side, it's just like you're chill with it. You're OK. Um, I don't think that there is a lot of. I don't know, like, oh, my God, kind of energy happening here. I feel like that may happen when you discover that this person actually has feelings for you. You know, because with this Four of Cups, I really feel like you'd see this person has perhaps, um, oh, Knight of Wands. So maybe it's like a friends with benefits, not just a friendship, like best besties. Um, but maybe you do see that this person, at the very least, could be attracted to you. But, and, but it's like when it comes to romantic feelings, I feel like you have already given up on that idea. And I do feel like you are manifesting communication from this person, either you know it or not. Um, and it is coming in and I really feel like things are about to speed up. Things are about to move forward. When I say speed up, I feel like it's, it's again, that thing of building blocks, you know, it's not fast, but it's also not slow. It's very natural. I keep getting a very natural energy. It's so beautiful. It's so great. And I really feel like your guides are supporting this connection hugely. Um, and I really feel like from your side, the way you're viewing things is just nothing is going to happen here more than just eventually if that happens, sex, but nothing else. You know, this person doesn't want to come in with me. And I do feel like they do. They really, really do. Um, but you don't know that. Well, you do know, but yeah. So let's see here. What is this Nine of Swords? What is this doing here? So we have the moon. 
Um, we also have, yeah, essentially, I'm actually not going to take too many more. Um, because essentially it's just, I feel like you're both kind of hurt from situations from the past. Um, maybe even something that happened here could be. But I feel like you're both a little bit blocked. I feel like you're a little less blocked when it comes to this connection. But I feel like especially for this person, they could have even had a little bit of anger towards love or um, they just didn't trust love, you know? And I feel like that also turned into fears of falling in love, fears of getting into a commitment because of past things. And I feel like now, um, because of all the retrogrades, that energy is definitely coming to light. And I feel like you're being able to release it. I feel like you're being able to work with it and create more, create something different. And I feel like that is something um, that you're both going to be able to do together, you know? Um, and it's so beautiful how we have like here two nines, which is about endings. And now instead of, you know, I was hearing a reading by MJ uh, from Soulful Revolution the other day. And she was talking about numerology and the, the number nine and number 10. Um, and it's like number nines have the energy of endings. And then the 10, it's like you went a little step further. And in this case, I really feel like you don't have to take that little step further you are able to already automatically go into a place of balance without having to just go the other extra mile to end things and to go through renewal and go through transformation. I feel like you're already going through all of that as you get into these endings. So what's happening next, it's a very balanced energy, which I absolutely love. And we even have like nine, six, there's this energy of three as well, which is a lot of creativity, a lot of manifestation, a lot of inspiration and help from the universe and i really love seeing that and i really feel like as i was saying with the retrogrades um and i don't know if for you it was as well but for me it was definitely very intense the last full moon um and i really feel like you were able to and now even in this energy you're able to really fully release those fears and insecurities are coming to light also for this person and um I feel like from that point forward, you're able to build something together. You're working together. You're helping one another to heal. You're helping one another to feel comfortable in this connection. And that is, that is love. That is love. It is what it is. So let's see this two of pentacles on your person's side. Whoa. Okay. We have the 10 of pentacles. We have the... Oh, interesting. We have the two swords. So, and the eight of cups. Um, I feel like what's happening here. I feel like this person is also a little bit in their comfort zone. And I feel like they are pondering. Do I move out of my comfort zone and get into this commitment? Or do I just let this go, you know, forget about my hopes and just move somewhere else? There is a big focus here on career and I almost feel like this person is just, um, again, there is this thing of like not necessarily anger at love, but there is definitely some resentment and some lack of trust in when it comes to love. And I feel like that is where their hesitation comes forward. And it's like, do I have this commitment with Leo, which I know it's going to be long term, which I know it's going to be a very far commitment, or do I just simply walk away and forget that I have those feelings, nothing is happening here and all of that you know and i feel like they're making that decision but with judgment i don't think that they're having too much longer to make that decision um oh yeah the universe is like the universe and their guides they're kicking their ass <laughs> we have the empress let's see what else we have uh four of wands and three of swords it's not necessarily like if they don't communicate with you they will lose you but i feel like what your guides are trying to do here or their guides maybe there's a, a connection here between your higher self and their higher self and guides and everything but i feel like what's happening here i feel like this person is getting to this place of if i don't have a commitment here with this person or i feel like it's more if i communicate my feelings with this person and then i choose to walk away i choose to not go through this i'm going to lose leo and I even feel like they are 
coming from this place of you're going to just snap at them and walk away but i also feel like it, it is coming from this place of i have caused pain and i wouldn't be able to live without pain and i feel like that's also what's causing a bit of hesitation when it comes to this is because they don't want to hurt you but i feel like their guides are just like hey if you don't move and if you don't face these fears if you don't face this devil in the face and do something differently you are going to lose leo either way um, because I feel like you may even have like other people coming in and that could be what your, their guides are trying to say, you know, and their guides are trying to come through with that energy. It's like, you are enough to have this love. You are able to have this love. The feelings are mutual. You can have this. Please move towards it. Okay. Um, and I feel like maybe that was even, maybe that was even a message for a cross watcher or something like that. Um, I don't think that in the end they would lose you. Leo but um, I feel like their guides and in their mind that is what they think is that they will lose you and that um, perhaps they cannot provide you what you want or something like that but I definitely feel like they are waking up to these feelings and even this devil here it's like sometimes I feel like they were um, just seeing this connection has oh it's just physical attraction or seeing those feelings has oh it's just physical attraction talking it's no no love here um, but in fact it is, and they're waking up to those feelings now. And I feel like they were hiding, um, the feelings behind that sexual attraction, but also behind work and, um, self-love and I'm still healing. I'm still doing this. Oh, I'm not ready for love. And now I feel like they cannot hold that in any, any longer. You know, I feel like their guides are not even making that possible. Yeah. Three of wands, um, ace of swords, the emperor, it's time for them to step up. And I feel like they are about to step up. It could be very fast, very soon, actually. Um, we have the six of wands, here, six of pentacles here. The strength card, queen of wands. Oh, the focus is on you. Yeah, I feel like this person's focus is gonna be on you. Um, two of wands. Let's get one more. Woo! I don't know if you heard the thunder. It's pretty loud. But yeah, okay. Oh, beautiful. And we have the six of swords. So you're definitely moving away from these insecurities, from these uh, limiting beliefs where this person is, but I feel like you too. And um, there could even be, you know, talking about sexual pa uh, sexual attraction here. Um, we have the queen of wands. We have strength. There is a lot of that going on. So something may happen here sexually. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it could definitely happen. Um, but I definitely feel like with strength, that is the card that defeats the devil. And I really feel like they are finally stepping up. They are finally feeding, uh, defeating that devil and being like, hey, I'm into you. Let's do something about this. And I feel like from that point forward, you're able to both choose a different direction from where this relationship was going, you know? Um, so that's really good. Really, really good. Um, I also feel like this is really fast energy. So it really could happen pretty, pretty soon. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Let's get some messages from this person oh goodness i'm running out of battery uh i'm scared of getting heard am i crazy to think we can actually work i'm trying to figure things out yeah my past trauma is blocking me you intimidate me but it's so interesting how none of these messages are about like oh i just see you has friends oh i don't want anything to do with you you know i feel like they have awakened to those feelings um, and now they're just trying to figure things out. So I really feel like it's just a matter of time, to be honest. Um, especially because of these things from the past that I feel like you both are going through, you know, healing some stuff from the past and those fears and insecurities from the past. Um, and yeah, we also have You Intimidate Me. So there's definitely that energy. I did see Let's Go on a Date. So this person could actually ask you out on a date and everything. We also have I'm Not Ready for Commitment here. But there's also this thing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, definitely the sexual attraction. I went to him about that. Um, but I'm done waiting. It's almost like I'm not going to, I'm not going to make excuses anymore. It's like if I want a relationship with you, I know I need to step up. And I feel like this person is kind of getting tired of their own BS, you know. Um, I love our conversation. So they are also very thankful for that. Let's see here. Anything else we need to know about this? situation all right look at that we have very soon it is happening very very soon so we have come here 
So I love how these cards came out because we have to um, pay attention to the red flags. And then the second I saw this religious factors was like, yeah, it's like this person was creating red flags. This person was just avoiding this connection. And with this, um, like, co-control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's almost like they were allowing the situation to unfold too naturally, too slow. They were kind of controlling it to go slow, you know? And now I really feel like things can go in a natural way. No pressure to have a commitment. No pressure to um, remain friends. No pressure to turn into lovers. No pressure to have sex. It's like no pressure. It's just like you're just going and just seeing where it takes you. And with these religious factors, there's that thing of like the universe is not taking this person's BS anymore. And these red flags that they were creating, you know, and the... Um, it's not that they have red flags, it was just the control towards those feelings. The universe is like, you're not making any excuses anymore. Now you're facing the feelings and you're doing something about that, you know? Uh, we also have Colin and your soulmate. So there's that thing of like, you're manifesting some movement here. Um, and I really feel like, because I even feel like you're not manifesting this person necessarily. I feel like you're manifesting love, but this person and you are in the same frequ frequency of love. So you're manifesting one another, especially you're manifesting them. Um, and that's why also the universe is not taking any crap because you deserve love. And they're like, come on, Leo is waiting, <laughs> you know? And with this playfulness, I feel like it is, especially with that, like, let's go on a date. I, I do feel like it's just about have fun with it, you know, have fun with each other and enjoy it, you know, enjoy it. So let's pull here some advice for you. All right, so we have speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. I don't necessarily get a feeling of like express your love or something like that. It's just like, be kind, you know, be kind. And I mean, be yourself <laughs> essentially, because I feel like you're already pretty kind to this person. Um, but when they do communicate, it's like, be honest. Um, honesty is essential. Speak with, lo with love and trust uh, and truth. My goodness, I cannot speak. Um, but yeah, speak with love and truth and, and trust as well. It's like trust that um, this person is going to listen to you. Trust that this person is going to be there to understand you. And um, it's just like whatever happens here, be honest and truthful to your feelings and allow them to be there. Allow yourself to expose those feelings um, because I also feel like that is going to set you free and is going to connect you with the frequency of love. Okay. And I feel like it is also something that could boost your confidence up a little bit, you know, being in that place of expressing feelings and not being ashamed of them, you know, um, but yeah, we also have physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much, and oh, I never noticed that this rhymes, but I love this, especially considering that we have so much sexual attraction, so if you feel called to, we even have playfulness, if you feel called to, have a little, have a little thing here, a little dessert with this person, go for it okay i feel like your guys are also um encouraging you in that way but i also feel like it's almost like if you want to refrain on those um sexual urges it is okay but it's like don't push this person away totally it's like you you can hug you can hold hands there's just like a little kiss on the cheek even it's like anything that you can do to show love through physical touch it may be this person's love language maybe it's yours um as well that means a lot okay so yeah i love this because i feel like there's something brewing here especially if it's like a besties turn to lovers men we like it we love it we we support um so yeah this is what i have for you leo i hope it resonated hope it helped we made it through um and it would be so interesting if the camera would cut out as i'm saying goodbye but um if this resonated, if it helped, don't forget to smash the like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. You can also check out my other channel, The Bird's Nest Tarot for Pick a Cards. And if you want to dive a little deeper into this, um, there is going to be a link below for a private reading. Okay? So, I love it very much. I wish you the best and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.